Hey friends, you know, uh, there was a story I remember of this man who was being chased. You know, something was roaring behind him like a lion. You know, he got a roar of a lion and he began running, he began running, he began running. He was running and running and running and running and running and the, 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 the more he ran, the more the roar came closer. The more he ran, the more the roar came closer. He was running, he knew his life is gone. He knew, oh my God, this is the end of my life. So at some point, as he was running and the roar came that so close to him, he fell to the ground and the animal just roared behind him. Oh my God, he knew he was gonna die. So he chose to turn to see the thing which is about to eat up his life. As he turned to see, oh my God, he felt so embarrassed. To his greatest amazement, it was a mouse with a loudspeaker. Not even a lion, a mouse with a loudspeaker. Yeah, be child of God. There are so many of us, we are running away from things we are able to confront, we are able to conquer. So many of us. You see, the lion is not the strongest animal in the jungle. The lion is not the strongest animal in the jungle. Absolutely not. You see, but what makes the, the lion very powerful is its courage. The lion believes in itself. Every obstacle, every animal that the lion sees, the first thing that comes into its mind is food. This is food. And because of that mindset, no matter the animal, no matter the animal, it could be an elephant. The lion believes as big as the elephant is. This is food. So you're a child of God. You see, where we've mistaken or where we've gone wrong is this. When we see how big or how, how big our challenges are, the first thing we want to think is, oh my God, I can't make it. We get so intimidated by size, by challenges. The bigger the size, the more intimidated we are. But for the lion, no matter the bigger the size, the much more food I have. I came to encourage us today. You are able to excel. You are able to overcome. You are able to make it. Irrespective of the challenges, all you need is to confront whatever is confronting you. Stand firm, stand strong. This man was running and running and running only to realize it was a mouse with a loudspeaker. Most of us, we've run away from battles, were born to conquer. And because of that, our destiny was taken away from us because there is no destiny without challenges. You're not going to walk into your destiny without challenges. Without challenges. You have to be able to con confront your challenge and, and, and get the victory. I remember the story of Edmund Hillary. You know, the first time he tried to climb Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, he didn't succeed. But he didn't give up. He kept on telling himself, I will climb Mount Everest. I will climb Mount Everest. At times, the challenges or the, the, the failures you experience per time, it, it doesn't mean denial. Oftentimes, the failures you experience doesn't mean denial. It simply says, work a little bit harder. You need more strength. You need more capacity. So every time you fail, instead of giving up, try to increase, build your capacity. Find out why did I fail? Why did I not make it? Why did I not excel? Failure is not denial. Failure is an opportunity. Failure is, in fact, failure is, is an education to tell you, look, listen, you have to be able to build up your capacity for this vision, for this goal, for this thing. So every time you fail in life or things don't turn out the way it's supposed to be, it is. it doesn't mean you've been denied that thing. It doesn't mean it's not possible. No, it simply means press on a little bit harder. Research more. Find out the reason why you couldn't succeed. Abraham Lincoln, who became one of the best American presidents, he failed elections, be it presidential election, be it legislation or whatever, he failed elections about 14 times. It was on his 15th time that he became the president of the United States of America. Don't give up in life because of failure. Don't give, don't give up in life because of challenges. Most people who ended up as champions failed. Isaac Newton, who came out with the three laws of motion, was a school dropout. He was a school dropout. So I want to encourage you, it doesn't matter. And so Edmund Hillary kept on telling himself, I must climb Mount Everest. I must climb Mount Everest. I must climb Mount Everest. And one day in UK, he saw the picture of Mount Everest on the wall. He, he walked to the picture and said, on my very first attempt, you defeated me, but I am coming back for you. 
I am coming back for you. And he went on preparing, building up his capacity, training himself. And the next time he made an attempt to climb Mount Everest, he actually succeeded and became the very first person to be on the summit of Mount Everest. Don't give up. You can climb Mount Everest. In that profession, in that in ministry, in business, in that family, you can become the best at what you do. Bible says you are the head, not the tail. So I encourage you, child of God, don't give up. You are well able to go up and take this mountain. God bless you.